hello welcome back to another video so this is another one of the gel polish um salon speed nail art type videos that i did um so i've got my buffed tip and this time i'm going in with um rose which is a rose gold gel polish from gel perfection and as you can see full coverage one thing kept um i'm not going to do a whole base layer this time of one of the colours, some people don't want to do that and the clients aren't fussy if what on, what's underneath isn't what's on top, blah, blah, blah. So this is just another way you can do this and go straight into the ombre. So I'm using my Barber 2 brush and again, I'm going to be using some cleanser and I'm going to disturb that blend. The polishes don't come together um, out from on the brush out of the bottle because I don't want to contaminate the polishes. I don't want lilac frost in rose gold and I don't want rose gold in lilac frost. So doing it this way obviously keeps them keeps them separate. So when I'm happy I'll cure and as you can see one coat coverage. I'm not gonna go back in with that. It's pointless. I'm gonna go back in with the lilac frosting because I the contact doesn't quite come up to where it wants to be and in my opinion the ombre always flows from the bottom to the top that makes sense in my mind and nobody else's probably um so yeah wet coat of that again Nail cleanser, if you're interested, I use the NSI cleanser, the purple one, but you can use any cleanser, any ice paper, alcohol. Um, I don't know about acetone, I don't know if it might um, be a bit too aggressive, I don't know. Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> acetone isn't something that I use, it's not something I have in my kit. I do have um, a bottle of it at home but i don't use it I honestly don't use it um so yeah so i'm just manipulating that blend make sure i'm happy and then when i am i will cure it when it comes out the light i'll then top coat it with a gel perfection diamond gloss tack free top coat it's amazing um, I haven't found a top coat that beats it and I've tried top coat <laughs> believe me <laughs> um, but yeah it's the one it's the one um, if you don't have any go and get some trust me so I'm clearly just faffing around here I don't know why maybe under the camera or in real life light or something it looked really bad as an ombre but it obviously isn't bad as an ombre <laughs> i could have top cured that about 30 seconds okay probably cure it there's the ombre top coat it as you can see we've got full coverage it's lovely and you know, I'm not a gel polish person. I really, really aren't. Um, so for me to achieve a gel polish ombre, as somebody, you know, g give me acrylic, I'll do it. Easily. Give me glitter, I'll do it. Give me gel, I can do it. Give me gel polish, nah. -uh. So if you're not confident, obviously, you know, this brand works really nicely. So that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching and there will be some more up soon.